Uh, hello, good morning, everyone out there. I hope you are doing well today. Those beautiful morning. Uh, as you go out today, I pray that the grace of God never depart from you. Um, my name is Elvis. I know you might not know me. Uh, I'm just gonna take a few seconds um, out of your time. But before I proceed, uh, let me quickly a quick one. Um, if you are just out there and you feel like you have no one to talk to, like you're bothered, man, you wish you had someone to talk to. Yeah, because I have uh, found myself in a situation before where I feel like I wish I had someone to talk to Sony. You know, it's not like talking to someone is actually um, going to have your problem solved, but it has a way of relieving you, you know. So if you are there, you know, be it emotional matter, whatever it is, I just want you to know that you have someone you can talk to now. You can reach me privately on my email. Elvis for real seven four at gmail.com Elvis for real seven four at gmail.com uh, thank you as you do I just want to say a few things um, that kind of bother me you know bothers me you know like um, how sometimes um, You know, most homes are being run in Nigeria and other part of the world and wherever you are. You know, but I want to talk precisely about Nigeria, you know. I found out that most homes are being run like an office where the only thing that truly matters is the growth of the office that is to say individual interests are inconsequential you know what i'm saying you see most homes in this part of the world where i hail from women interests are inconsequential nobody want to hear them out the woman is always expected to always be the last order as if they were in the military as the only interest that, that is paramount is that of the man of the house or the head of the house, so to say. I am not saying women are perfect on the other hand, but I just want men to lead by example rather than just keep trying to make the women look or feel, you know, worthless, you know. Because I believe that a man's best friend is supposed to be his wife for many reasons, you know, but that's not what I'm about today. You know, there are few things I understand about my kind, you know, things like treating people the same way you want to be treated, you know, which leads us to love. I just keep asking myself, like, does this man really understand what it is or what it means to treat a woman rightly? Because I don't and I will never believe that when a woman asks to be treated rightly, she is asking for too much. You know, it's like telling an average Nigerian glamouring for good governance that he or she is asking for too much many people these days tend to believe that the reason there are so many broken homes it's as a result of lack of love in a marriage well I totally disagree with such appalling belief my reason isn't far-fetched, you know. 
You know, talking about love and marriage, I believe that you might need love to sustain a relationship leading to marriage or not. It doesn't matter. But you certainly need more than love to sustain marriage. And I believe that the major key to, so, to stay and remain in love in the marriage is friendship friendship is what it is because when you have friendship it pays way for sacrifices that and sacrifices brings about loyalty and by these you can do all things in an old marriage as if the marriage it was just a day old or it's just a day old you know what i'm saying but when you run your homes like an office, you are never going to have what it takes to have friendship in your marriage. When I look around me these days, you know, what I can see is a war of no love for my kind, but much love for material things. I believe man was created to be loved. And things were made to be used. But over time, man's hunger and greed for material things suddenly changed God's plan and love for man. As that which was created to be loved have now been used to acquire that which was made to be used. You see, it's appalling, but that is the world we live in today. Well, like I said earlier, I said I wasn't going to take much of your time. Um, I'm just going to rest my case for now till I come your way next time. Remain blessed and uh, stay safe. I remain Elvis. God bless you. A pleasant day ahead is my wish for you. Bye-bye for now.